Rebuilding the massive 75-year-old dredge is the most ambitious project ever attempted in Gold Rush. Over six months, Tony Beats and his crew relocated two giant gantries, 72 cast iron buckets, a wheelhouse, a stacker, a trommel, a nine-ton spud, and they went through close to 10,000 bolts. From the get-go, relocating the dredge seemed like an impossible task. Well, guys, that's it. That's the dreads. Are you nuts? Well, that's how you can knock down a dreads, gentlemen. Let's do it. Get her, get her, get her. Watch the ladder, Tony. Hey, whoa. Oh. Give it a little bit more. Tony the building apart. Yeah, well, just make it freaking happen. Up, up, up. Go, 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 go. Piece of piss. Lift it up. Hey, get I want to get this thing out of here. ASP. Spelled as soon as possible. A little more? Perfect. Here we go, Creek. Here we come. Everybody thought it was crazy and couldn't get done. Well, there she is. Tony, I... it looks like a junkyard. This is going to cost us time. I don't see the problem. You expect us to put this back together now? It's a cake. Let's go, guys. Give me bolts, give me bolts, give me bolts. For sake. Drop the thing in the hole. Man, that's good, isn't it? That's great. Jump, Kevin! Make it happen. That's That's it. Gantry is it. Oh, she goes? You're a good man. I'll give a what your mother says. The ship is ready to sail, so let's put it in the water, see if we can dread some gold with it. Despite the naysayers, Tony and his team pulled off the impossible. I told you guys come hell on high water, didn't I? Only one question remains. Will it catch gold? Gentlemen, are you ready? 